effectively, AutoSync is a revamp of an application that was initially released last year to provide a more simple, simple interface with uh, wizard-based data pipeline creation for less technical users. Um, more technical users can still use it and accelerate their pipeline creation process. Um, but you can see from these screenshots, it's a, a clearer, more modern UI. Um, you've got filtering, you've got different views. Um, you can go through the settings and enable email notifications and manage credentials for logging into tests, um, sorry, into systems, applications, and data stores um, that could be your data sources and your data targets. Um, and if you look at this, we're going to step through the wizard now. So this is the right to left wizard. The first thing I do is I'm going to name the pipeline. I'm going to give it a contextual name. So you know, when somebody looks at this, they, they know it's not just data pipeline one, two, three. And you'll see with the pop out window that we have the pipeline overview that gets built out from right to left, hence the right to left wizard. So the user is choosing to the answers to the questions. This is being created for marketing. It's related to customer engagement. And you can see the description below the pipeline overview is being built out dynamically as well. Now, these these sources here are the sources that we currently support with AutoSync. We're going to choose Salesforce for the, the purpose of this demonstration, although you can use cloud data warehouses or on-premise databases as well. And here I'm just selecting a credential that's been pre-configured for me to connect to Google BigQuery. I enter the case ID, and then I can also specify if I'm using a staging system in a different uh, AWS location or a Google location, I can specify the location there. And then I can also provide my Google Cloud Storage bucket to be used for staging. So I'm just calling, a, calling out a bucket that I want to use as my staging location. I click Next through the wizard. You can see the icon over the destination image has gone green from red, and you can see the source image is still red, which is a disconnected link. So I'm providing the information needed to connect to that source system and picking my objects that I want to synchronize from Salesforce. So from the drop down, I'm picking a couple of custom objects. I can also use a text field to filter um, the objects that are listed. So in this case, I'm going to choose opportunity. And I'm going to go in there again and then choose the campaign uh, object because these are the pieces of information that will help me understand my customer engagement. And now I'm going to click next and go to the final stage of the wizard, which is how frequently do I want to synchronize my data? So I have a custom option in the bottom right. So I can choose to start at a given date time end after a certain occurrence certain number of occurrences or on a specific date. But right now I can't decide on the schedule, so I'm just gonna click no schedule and save the pipeline. And that's it. So you don't have to build a pipeline, you don't have to go into the canvas. If you need to change anything after the fact, you can always go in the edit option. And instead of a full load, choose either incremental or SCD2 um, as your load type. And then cancel out of that because we're not making any changes. And that's it. That's how simple it is to create a new data pipeline in AutoSync. And you can see now from the edit pop flyout, I'm able to click run now. There is also a kebab menu that allows me to choose run now, um, share the pipeline or delete it. There's highlighting the favorites icon as well. So I can just click on the star and add, add a pipeline to my favorites icon, to my favorites list. And once the pipeline has run, you can see in the right hand pane that not, I think it says 9,000 records have been um, processed and it will break that down by new records, updated records or deleted records as well. And there you go, that's the pop-up menu. So everything I can do in the flyout pane, I can also do from my pop-out kebab menu on each individual card. So you can see here that this is a really quick way of building optimized pipelines. These have been optimized for bulk uploading. We use smart um, uploading choices. So by default, if the system does not contain the data that I'm trying to sync. The system, the uh, auto sync pipeline will choose to do a full reload and subsequently do incremental or SCD2 based reloads depending on um, your uh, load type um, operation. Um, but you can always override that. So just by going into the edit, edit screen as the, the video demonstrated. 